In this video, I'm going to show you the new features of the VoiceThread tool for Canvas. To use VoiceThread, you must have a Canvas core space. In your Canvas core space, you can add VoiceThread into your course modules. So I'm already in my course module section. You can see some modules here. To add Canvas to a module, click on the cog wheel, click Add Content, Change the top drop-down bo box from Assignment to External Tool. You'll see a list of the tools that we have available to you appear. Scroll down and at the very bottom click VoiceThread. Then you can rename this page name section here. Once you um, have your page name set, go ahead and click Add Item. You'll see that my VoiceThread came up over here in the module. Now, when I click on VoiceThread for the first time in a Canvas core space, I am presented with three different options. And I will give some brief information about each option. First is the course view option, which will display all VoiceThreads shared within the course. You can also add existing voice threads to a course through this setup option. There's also the option to display a single voice thread. This is called individual voice thread. Again, you can use this to point directly to a voice thread you already created, or you can add this setup and create a voice thread from this type of setup as well. Lastly is um, VoiceThread Home. This will display all the voice threads and all the courses that a student is enrolled in. So for you, this wouldn't look that different, but for your students, it would be different for each and every student. Um, so if you have a student who is using two classes um, that use VoiceThread, then they would see both those classes. That one might be a little confusing for your students. So that's a brief overview of the new features of the VoiceThread external tool. For further assistance, or if you have any questions, please see the online resource at bucks.libguides.com slash voicethread.